Tiffany's neighbor tells us she knew about the Jennifer Dulos case well before tonight, but was in complete shock to find out her next door neighbor was arrested and charged with conspiracy to commit murder. It's pretty surprising. It's pretty shocking. Kent Mawinney's neighbor speaking out after she learned the third suspect in the case involving the murder of Jennifer Dulos lived right next door. Immediately it was shocking. I haven't had any contact with him myself. You know, he keeps to himself. But yeah, it was pretty, pretty, I don't want to say scary, but a little concerning considering the charges brought against him. Alex Apola says once she learned of the arrest, she remembered seeing a cleaning company at Mawinney's home the past few days and thought it was odd. Mawinney failed to post his $2 million bond after his arraignment on conspiracy charges Wednesday, remaining in state custody. A civil attorney and close friend of Fotis Dulos was interviewed twice by police. According to his warrant, he changed a story in his second interview, saying he was at Dulos' Jefferson Crossing home the morning Jennifer disappeared. Mr. Mawini was an important part of our defense. We believe he was with Mr. Dulos that morning. Phone records also show Mawini called Dulos that night when police alleged Dulos was dumping bloody bags of evidence in Hartford. Police also revealing they searched the Windsor Rod and Gun Club in East Granby, which Mawini helped establish almost 15 years ago. Two men finding what they described as a grave in the woods. Police later searched that piece of land and found a hole in the ground, but no human remains. State police say Mawini's cell phone pinged near that site in March and again on May 31st, just several days after Jennifer Dulos disappeared. Mawini, like Dulos, was also going through a contentious divorce involving a protective order and sexual assault arrest. According to court documents, Mawini's estranged wife told police she thought he wanted her dead. We also learned tonight that Mawinney is the former president of the South Windsor Hockey Arena, his family very involved for years. The club canceling tonight's youth hockey game in light of this news. In the newsroom, Zania Maldonado, Fox 61 News.